Hi everyone, thanks and welcome to today's class. At first, I'll have to apologize for last week we were unable to take our class. We were unable to take our class, so I have to first apologize for that. It was due to network issues. It was due to network issues. So please, and once again, my apologies for that. My apologies for that, for not being able to take the class last week. So I um, hope um, we all accept my apologies. It was due to network. And I knew so many of us had it. We all had good network in our places. But now notwithstanding, we're going to do something this week. We're going to do something this week. And if you can see my screen is on the board for you, you can see it from the board. So it's going to be, we're going to be looking at um, PowerPoint. We're going to be looking at PowerPoint. Now I want to give us an assignment. Everybody, please listen and listen very, very carefully. I want to give us an assignment. Go read on Microsoft Outlook 2007. Write a paper or a term paper on Microsoft Outlook 2007 and submit it to safety bliss at yahoo, safety bliss at yahoo.com. So the assignment again is write on Microsoft Outlook, send it to safety bliss at yahoo.com. So you have between now and next week. Thursday to submit the assignment. Now let's look at, we've been able to look at them. Um, we've looked at uh, Microsoft um, Office. We've looked at um, Microsoft Excel. And I believe, and I hope by now, some of us are familiar with those things. And if we are playing with it by now, we should be able to do one or two things with it. So we are moving forward with Microsoft Power Point 2007, Microsoft PowerPoint 2007. Now, when we talk about Microsoft PowerPoint, actually Microsoft is, um, Microsoft, uh, uh, what's it called, um, PowerPoint or Microsoft Office is a very powerful tool you can use for web typing, Excel calculation, PowerPoint presentation, Outlook, etc. But now let's look at Microsoft PowerPoint. It is, it is used to create presentation. It is used for presentation. You create a presentation and you use it for presentation. Now when we get to very soon your term papers, you'll be asked to come and present your term papers and your term papers, you have to prepare slides. And um, that is when you come up to use Microsoft Office to prepare your slide and present before the boards or before the panels. So if your slide is too wordy, they're going to scold you for it. And if it's not enough, they're going to talk, they're going to criticize your work. So now the essence of Microsoft PowerPoint is for you to create a, a presentation, to create a presentation, a very beautiful presentation, a very nice presentation. And the, the, the presentation can be in any form. So as uh, with Microsoft Office PowerPoint, you can create a perfect presentation to impress your audience without any fancy application, just by using the, 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 the software. You just, you use it to impress your audience without any fancy application, just create your slide, um, uh, present it using um, the projector, if there's projector, or show it to them on your system, and you talk on it, and they no, this is good, this is good, this is good. So with Microsoft PowerPoint, you can actually do that, use it to create a perfect presentation to impress your audience, to impress your audience or your lecturers, or for those, um, the panel that have been set up for your um, presentation, for your term paper presentation. The Microsoft PowerPoint is a powerful application that allows you to add drama and highlights highlights to your presentation. It is a powerful tool. It is a powerful tool or a powerful, it is a powerful application that allows you to add drama 
and highlights to your presentation. It allows you to add drama and highlights to your presentation that you use in um, uh, impressing your audience. You can use the application to enhance your presentation by adding pictures, text, and videos. So you, you can use the presentation or you can use the presentation use the application to enhance your presentation you use micro you can use it to enhance your presentation bringing pictures bringing putting in your test bringing in videos now just to make your presentation look good and wow so you can use microsoft word microsoft and powerpoint to do that your presentation can include graphics audio and video clips and link to external website so with microsoft 2007 you can link your presentation to external website you can include graphics in your presentations you can include audio and videos in your presentation so this can be done now microsoft powerpoint 20 2007 has different uh sorry 2007 interface is different from the previous one from the previous program so 2007 is different from the previous versions It's different from the previous version so 2007 is very different from the previous version so if you look at my screen you see when you open Microsoft Office 2007, this is how it looks when you open it. How do you open it? Just the same, we'll be running down through from Word, Microsoft Word, and um, Excel, how to open it is similar. Click the Office button, Microsoft button, and it opens the, 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 the quick bar and you just click blank. And when you click blank, this is what you see. This is what you see when you click blank. When you click blank, this is what you see when you click blank so let's go further and talk about each of them now the new interface in microsoft of um, powerpoint 2007 one we have the office button the office button includes a lot of options that used to be found under the file menu such as save and print in the previous version so you have number two the quick access to bar the quick access to bar the quick access to bar is a customizable to bar that is next to the office button it is where you can place buttons for the commands you use mostly it is on this quick access to bar you place the buttons for uh, the buttons for the commands you use most often so that instead of you going to search for it you just go to the quick access to bar you click on it and boom it's there for you then number three is the ribbon the ribbon now in uh, the ribbon um is used or was used to uh, sorry the ribbon replaces most of the menus that two bar two bars in the previous version of powerpoint with groups of tags organized into tabs so it was used to replace both previous versions of them um, most of the menus in previous versions of a powerpoint the slide pane the slide pane describes um to a thumbnail of your slides or an outline of your presentation now the i am explaining them according to the number if you check my screen here i number them so that is the same way i'm taking them one after the other so you can see the number four is the slide pane the slide pane so if you check you see the slide pane here you see the slide pane there so you should know and um, you should be able to follow me i said the slide pane displays thumbnails of your slides or an outline of your presentation then the number five is the slide canvas the slide canvas now this is the main work area where you add your test bullets images videos etc this is the main work area where you add your test bullets images videos ect um the six number six is the tax pane the tax pane the tax pane provides additional option for a tax selected in the ribbon the tax pane provide additional 
option for a tag selected in the ribbon. So it provides that. And I have the number seven, which is notes area, notes area. Now the notes area includes the speaker's notes, the speaker's notes, then um, this in the note area, the speaker's note is not displayed on the screen. Why this the speaker present? No, if the speaker only views it from his or her own um uh, system, but it doesn't display on the screen. So it's the note area. So most of the explanation the, 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 the speaker might want to explain, he puts them in the note area, and as he's talking, he's not displaying on the screen, but he's helping the speaker to giving the speaker more points to buttress on. Then the number eight is the view button, the view buttons, the view buttons, the change view or launch a slideshow. So the view button, you have the change view or it helps you launch um, a slide, helps you launch a slide. Now the modifying, let's look at modifying the interface. You can't modify the ribbon, but you can minimize it. So it takes up less space. You cannot modify the ribbon, but it can be minimized for it to take less space. And to minimize the ribbon, you click on the customize quick access to bar button. You click when you click on the customize to access to bar button, it drop down um the, the drop down arrow on the right side of the click access tab uh, to bar. You select minimize the ribbon so and it will minimize the ribbon for you the ribbon will be minimized to set um to a set of tabs so and to open a tab why the ribbon is minimized you just click the tabs name to close the tab why anywhere outside the ribbon or click on the tabs name again so that is what we'll do the quick access to bar can be customized to include boardings for your most frequently used commands, which I've said before. To add a button to the quick access to bar, you click on the customize quick access to bar button and choose a command from the list of commands. And if you don't see the command, the command you need listed, then you click on more and you see the commands, you click them and add them to whatever you want to use them to wherever you want to use them. Now creating a presentation. Let's start, let's create a presentation in Microsoft PowerPoint 2007. Now to create a new presentation with uh, Microsoft PowerPoint 2007, first you have to launch PowerPoint 2007. When you launch the program, the program will open up with a new blank presentation already created for you, a new blank presentation already created for you. Now it will open up, you see different assets, you see blank, you see um, um, templates. So we are taking blanks. And to save the presentation, click on the view office button and choose save. Click on the view office button and choose save. The enter file name for your new presentation and select save location then you click save and it will go save directly to where we want it powerpoint 2007 uses different file format than the previous version of the program but you can save a copy of your powerpoint 2007 presentation that is backwards compatible with other versions of the program now what i mean by this is because it is um, higher than the previous version you f if you save anything with it the lower version a system that has a lower version of powerpoint will not be able to open it but what do we do for if you want to save a document you are using microsoft powerpoint 2007 or higher version and you want to take it somewhere and you don't know the kind of um, uh, version they are using over there, what you simply do is to um, uh, click on the office button and select savers. Then when you select savers, you look for PowerPoint 97 to 2003 presentation. So when you click on that, you save it there and um, it will, every other version of uh, Microsoft PowerPoint will be able to open the file wherever you take it to they will be able to open the file wherever you take it to now to save you can also press ctrl plus s on your keyboard to save your work to save your work 
Now, if you've not, that is if you have saved before. If you've not saved before, if you press Control plus S, it will bring out um, a, uh, a window where it will ask you to insert the file name and save the file as. So you fill in that place. But if you've done that, as you're working, just press Control S and it will keep saving your work for you. Another way to create a new presentation is by clicking on the office button and choosing new. This will open the new presentation window where you will be asked, where you will have the following option on the left, blank and recent. Click on blank presentation on the right to create a blank presentation with no formatting to it. Now there are installed templates. Installed templates are built in mic and presentation designs they are built in comp uh, presentation designs and even in uh, microsoft powerpoint 2007 we have installed templates on it so now the install team install teams they are similar to templates but also include formatting such as color font and effects to give your presentation a consistent look Microsoft Office Online, these are templates you can download. There are, these are where you can download templates that from the Microsoft Office. Once you have chosen a template or team, click on Create or Download if the template is on the Microsoft website. The formatting options included in the template or team will be applied to the new presentation created by PowerPoint 2007. You can also create a new presentation based on an already existing presentation. So you can also create a new presentation based on an already existing presentation. Then all you just need to do is you click on the office button and choose new. In the new presentation window, choose new from existing on the left column. Then locate the existing presentation on your computer and click on create new. Now to create a new presentation that is based on an outline created with Microsoft Word, choose slide from outline from this new slide, pull down menu in the home tab of the ribbon. Two, you locate the Microsoft Word document containing your outline. Three, click on insert. The main topic in your outline will be used to create the slide title for your inserted slides, to be used for your inserted slides. Then the changing the view. PowerPoint 2007 supports three different views for working on your presentation. PowerPoint 2007 supports three different views for working on your presentation. One is normal view. Two, slide sorter, um, sorter. Three, slide show. One, normal. Two, slide sorter. Three, slide show. So these are the views. These are the views. Then the normal. The normal, the screen is divided into three sections. The slide canvas on the right side in the main work area where you add graphics and other content. Now, on the normal, the screen is divided into three sections. The slide canvas, which is on the right, is the main work area where you add graphics and other contents. The notes area below the slide canvas is where you can add speakers, speaker notes to remind you of key points as you go along with your presentation. Then the slide pane on the left has two tabs that allows you to see thumbnails of your slides or an outline of your presentation. Then the slide sorter, the slide sorter, this view only shows thumbnail of your slides. The slide sorter only shows thumbnails of your slide. They only show the thumbnails of your slide. You can use this view to quickly record your slides using drag and drop. Then the slideshow. The slideshow allows you to preview your slideshow as it will display when you actually 
present it. It allows you to preview it and to show you how it will look like when you actually present it to your audience. You can change the zoom level to get a better view of your slides in normal, in a uh, slide sorter view by using the slider in the lower right of the corner, by using the slider in the lower right of the corner. Working with slides. Now to add a slide to your presentation, open the home tab in the ribbon and click on the new slide button, which you see on the picture there. Now it will add a new slide with the name layout on the previous slide. To change the layout of a slide after you have added it to your presentation, click on layout in the home tab and choose a different layout from the menu. Choose a different layout from the menu. To display, to duplicate an existing slide, click the slide in the slide pane, right click on it and choose duplicate slide and the slide will be duplicated to be duplicated. To remove a slide so it appears at a different point in the presentation, use drag and drop to move the slide thumbnail in the slides pane. You use drag and drop to move it in the slides pane on the left side of the window until it is in the desired location. To delete a slide, press the delete key on your keyboard with the slide selected in the slide pane. To hide a slide, right click on it in the slide pane and select hide slide. So the hidden slide will be indicated by a square around, square around the slide. So it will be indi uh, indicated by that adding content to slide. One of the ways or the fastest way to add content in PowerPoint is by selecting a slide layout and entering your content into one of the test placeholders. Now let's take for example, if you select the title slide layout, you can enter a title for your slide by clicking on the placeholder on the placeholder test at the top of the slide canvas and entering your own test. You can also add content to a slide by copying it from another document. So let's see some of the things. Now, number one, my number one is select the content you wish to copy in the other document, copy it to the clipboard. In most programs, this is done by choosing edit copy by choosing edit copy. Two, place your cursor inside the test, um, the test placeholder where you want your paste, where you want to paste the copied content. Then click on the paste button in the clipboard group of the home tab. Then you see your work being placed. Another way to add content in is by inserting a test box you can position anywhere on the slide canvas. Now you open the Insert tab in the ribbon and click on Test Boss in the Test Group and to show you um, that, 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 that figure, the pic you are seeing on my screen now. This is it. You can see it there. So click on click uh, where you want to insert the new Test Boss in the slide canvas. You click on the place, then enter the test in the new test box or it will disappear once you click outside of it. When you are finished adding your test, click outside of the test box. This will add the test box to the current slide. You can modify the test box as follows or whenever you want. You can modify it whenever you want. Now working with Teams, Teams are preset combination of colors, font, and styles that can be used to achieve a consistent look in your presentation. To change the theme used in a presentation, open the design tab of the ribbon and choose a theme 
by clicking on one of the team's thumbnails. So just like you see, sorry about that. Just like you see on my screen, it's there. It's there. So to view one more thumbnails, click on the down and up arrow to the right of the thumbnails to browse the teams one arrow at a time. Clicking on the more button below, the arrow will open a menu where you can view all of the team at once. So, as you hover over each thumbnail, you will see a preview of the team in the slide canvas. You see a preview of the team in the slide canvas. When you apply a team by clicking on each thumbnail in the ribbon, the change affects every slide in your presentation. So when you apply a team by clicking on each thumbnail, if the change is affected on all your slides. So every slide you've created will have that change, will have that effect, will be affected. But if you only want to apply not this if you only want to apply the theme to some slides then you have to select the slides in the pane right click on the thumbnail of the of the team you want to apply and choose apply to selected slides now take it again i said if you click on the thumbnail of the the, the, the you click on the thumbnail of the team it will affect or the if it will affect on all the slides you've created but if you want to put it on spe uh, specific slides you select the slides you want to um, place that um, team on and select the slide right click on the thumbnail of the team then you click on apply to selected slides you can customize a team by using the colors font and effect pull down menus to the right of the team thumbnail. So you can do that. You can access more backgrounds, background options by clicking on the background styles pull down menu and choose format background. So with that, you can apply um, see so many background. To reset your presentation to the default team used by Microsoft 2000, PowerPoint 2007, click on the first thumbnail from the left in the design tab of the ribbon. Now let's look at the formatting. Formatting, the front group, the font group in the home tab of the ribbon has the following option for formatting your test. Has the following option for formatting your, your test. Then you must select the first. First is choose a different font. Click on the uh, font pull down menus and choose the desired font you want in them. Um, you can also change the text size by choosing a size from the pull down menu or click on the increase or decrease font buttons. You can change this, the text style by clicking on the bold italics or italic or underline button, just as you can see here. You can change the text color by clicking on the font color button and choose the color square of the desired color click on the more colors if you don't see the color you want and uh, it will open more colors for you to pick a choice then you can add a text shadow to your work by selecting the text you want to have um to have a drop shadow and click on the text shadow button and it will work for you so to remove all formatting all you just need to do is click on the clear clear all formatting button and all the formatting will be cleared. All the formatting will be cleared. Now the paragraph group, the paragraph group. The paragraph group includes the following. Add a bulleted or numbered list. To change the indenta indentations, click on the increase and decrease indent button. Change the test alignment change the test alignment then in the paragraph group you can change line spacing also you can change line spacing also please for the sake for those that are just joining us there is an assignment i said read on microsoft fonts um microsoft outlook sorry 
Microsoft Outlook 2007. Right on it, Microsoft Outlook 2007, and submit it to my on uh, bliss safety at sorry safety bliss at yahoo.com not later than thursday next week safety bliss at yahoo.com right on um microsoft outlook 20 2007 microsoft outlook 2007 read and write about it if you just go on internet and download and you don't read oh i pity you you'll be surprised when you see it in your exam so that's why i said read on it read know it and write notes on it not more than not less than 25 pages not less than 25 pages so you can do that some of the options in the paragraph group applies only to the test buses the change to change the test direction select a test bus click on the test direction button and choose one of the rotation option to change the direction in which you want the test to read or uh, will read inside the test then to change the vertical alignment of the test within a test box select the test box click on the align test button and choose an align option to add columns select a test box click on the column button and choose the number of columns and if you need to undo a format change you have made click on the undo button in the quick access bar or you can also press ctrl z to undo what you've done image and clip add to insert an image from a file into your presentation now you these are things you need to know you open the insert tab of uh, of the ribbon and click on the pick, pick click on pick the picture you locate the image you want to add on your hard drive and click on insert now to resize the image you can do that by dragging on one of the corner handles then drag it to the desired location in the slide where you want it powerpoint 2007 provides many tools for editing an image in powerpoint 2007 there are several tools for editing an image and to access these tools you click on the image to select it and open the format tab of a ribbon where you will find the following options the brightness and contrast pull down menus in the adjust group allows you to increase or decrease the overall brightness or contrast of the um of your work now there's another the recolor menu allows you to apply color effect such as black and white sapphire or wash out etc the set transparent color options under recolor allows you to make any single color in an image transparent so now the compressed picture button opens a window where you can click on click on ok to compress the selected image to the file size of the presentation now the change picture button allows you to swap the currently selected image for another image where the reset button returns the image to its default position the picture style group consists of a series of thumbnails you can click on to quickly add special effects such as frames borders reflection etc to your picture the shape border um, and picture effect pull down menu are used to apply a shape cut out border or special effects such as a shadow or reflection you can hover over any of the options in the border and picture effect menus to see the preview in your slide canvas the bring to front and send to back pull down menus allows you to change the stacking order of an image in relation to another or to other images in a slide the selection pane button opens a tax pane on the right side of the powerpoint window where you can quickly select individual objects by choosing them from a list as well as change their visibility and stacking order 
The align button provides several ways to align or distribute multiple images. The shift or click on the image, when you sh um, sh press shift, click on the image, you want to align or distribute before you click on one of the options in the align pull down. The group buttons allows you to group an image with another object so that the two items are treated as one. Then the rotate button can be used to rotate an image in 90 degree increment or to flip it horizontally or vertically. So the size group allows you to resize or crop an image. Now to align an image more precisely, you can turn on the grid by clicking on the align button in the arrange group and choosing view group grid. Choose grid setting to open the grid and guides windows, guides windows where you want, where you can set objects to snap to the grid and change the grid spacing. So then um, you can add clip art from the extensive collection installed with Microsoft Office, as well as clip art available on Microsoft website to add clip when uh, clip art to a slide. You click on the clip art button in the insert tab of the ribbon. The way this will open the clip art tax pane on the right side of the window. On the right side of the window, use the pull down menus at the top of the pane to set your search parameters. Then enter a search term and click on go. Click on a thumbnail to add the clip art to your slide and use the options in the format tab to edit the clip art as you would edit other images. PowerPoint's photo album is a presentation that includes photos on each slide. To create new photo album in PowerPoint 2007, you follow the pro use the following procedures. You click on the photo album in the insert tab of the ribbon, then click on file or disk or at the top of the window. Locate the images you want to include in your photo album, then control click to select multiple images and click on insert to insert the images. You can insert to insert the images. The photo will be listed under pictures in album at the top of the photo, the photo album window. Use the arrow between the pictures in album list to record the photos as needed. Use the control below, below the preview area on the right to rotate photos as needed and to adjust the contrast and brightness. Click on the picture layout pull down menu to select how many photos you want to show on each slide. So click on the browse button to the right of the team field and choose a team for the photo album. Then lastly, click on create PowerPoint will create a new presentation with photos you selected already um, added to the slide. So I want to um, once again tell us for the assignment, please you submit it later by Thursday, write on read on Microsoft Outlook and write on it not more than, not less than 25 pages. So it must be submitted by next week, Thursday. So. Um, for the short time we have, let's just quickly look at some heading. You can shape in um, PowerPoint, you can shape your work. Smart art graphics, you can do them with your PowerPoint. Then um, table and chart, you can use table and charts on your PowerPoint. You can insert them in your presentation. Table and chart can be inserted in the presentation. So sound and movies, you can um, add sound and uh, video clips to your presentation. You can add video clips, movies, sounds to your presentation. So these are what you can do. So action buttons. So I want to thank you again for listening to me. And um, another thing that I failed to tell you is this transition. You can add transition to a slide. Now, how do we do this? You choose the slide in the slide pane, open the animation tab of the ribbon, hover over the transition icon 
in the transition to this to this slide group to see a preview of each transition in the slide canvas when you find one you like just click on the icon for that transition zone and that is to put a kind of beautify your presentation so you can use the pull down menus to the right of the transition icon to add sound and change the transition speed so you can change the way the speed in which it appears the transition appeared or your slides appear so you can click you click on apply to all to all if you wish to apply the current selected transmission transition to all slides in your presentation to advance the current slide automatically when you present click this boss next to automatically after and enter the number of seconds in the field to the right that you want your slide to appear to animate any object in the slide canvas select the options you want to animate select an animation from the animate animate pull down menus in the animation tabs of the ribbon you see a preview of the animation in the slide canvas now if you wish to create more complex animation choose custom animation at the bottom of the animate pull down menu this will open the custom animation pane on the right side of the window click on add effect and choose the type of animation you wish to add on it so that is how you can do that so once you have added animation use the pull down menu menus under modify to set use the pull down menu under modif modify to set um, to set when the animation will start to set when the animation will start so these are what the animation so these are what um, i need to let us know and um, use the arrow under the animation list to change the order in which the animations will be executed when you play the slides then to remove an, uh, an animation select it from the list and click on remove button at the top of the thing then click on play to preview your animation slides the motion part so we still have motion parts if you are fast enough you can just be screenshotting this so this is the motion part then recording and narration so with some um, powerpoint you can record narrations for your slide as this is the steps you can follow so i'll like just advise because our time is gone please just screenshot and go through them so you go through them so record narration you can do that so you can do all that plain presentation you can play your presentation you can play your presentation so plain presentation custom slideshow and all the rest so you can get all of them just screenshot then you'll be able to get what we are saying here i want to thank you for listening to me again and i say god bless you so once um i want to go that over again page after page and please um before i log out i just want you to screenshot if you can screenshot every page from here the printing handles so i'm sending one after the other if you can screenshot it just screenshot it before we leave this place so once again please don't forget the assignment don't forget the assignment it's very very important and read it make sure you understand what you are writing on and be able to work on it when the time comes for you to work on it so please just do this for me and for yourself so that during the exam we will all smile together so don't leave it for me alone don't leave it for your friends alone don't copy from anybody do it yourself i know most of the centers now we are all we've resumed we are in our centers in the hostels and you're waiting for your neighbor to do it that might not help you so lay your hands on it go through it do it yourself submit it before a latest thursday next week submit it latest thursday next week i know uh, you have lots of time to do this now to get this submitted please let's do it and do it fast after thursday nobody should submit to me again after thursday nobody should send it to my email if you send it after thursday uh you will be penalized so don't send it after on thursday let 
that Thursday be Thursday. After Thursday, don't send anything to my email again. So please, I'm begging now, let's try and attempt it. It's what we can do and I believe we can do it. So let's try and attempt it. And um, you'll be glad you did and it will help you, even not even only in exam. In future, you can use it anywhere to do anything, to do great work. And people will just marvel at your works. People will marvel at your work. So just do it and it will help very well. So um, I just want to say thank you again and God bless you. Please stay well and remain safe. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.